Okay, um, in this video, um, I decided that I'm going to give you a quick preview of the source code for my UPirate program. And, um, so I'll just give a little description of it. Um, it's written in Power Basic, and it uses, um, Firefly Visual Designer. Um, as you can see right here. Um, and so basically, this is all the code of it. And, um, so yeah, the main part of it is this part right here that you see now. Subload data. Um, this whole section of code right here is the part of code that, um, j basically it gets the HTML page, uh, parses through all the HTML code, and decides what information is relevant and what information it can throw away. Um, so it comes up with uh, the video title, um, the video description, and I mean the video URL, and then the video description right here. And all this is stored into um, an array of type video that I created my own structure here. Um, basically, the array consists of a title, description, URL, and FLV. Um, so, yeah, so it loads th that array with this information from here. And then th these commands right here basically just tell it to fill the list box with the data f that is in that array. And um, so, yeah. Um, then right here you'll see a thing that's called fix it up, which basically just... It, it's just another layer uh, that parses through the um, HTML and removes any weird uh, HTML characters or whatever that get in the way and get into the title and make it look a little weird when you're trying to read it. Um, and then all, all of this stuff is not very important because this is basically just stuff that sets up the window, etc. Stuff like that. Not well, the real workings of the program. Um, here is some more and more important stuff. Right here, these, this part right here. Um, so FF play. This subroutine executes the um, FF play, which is part of FFMPEG, and so this is the part that actually uh, begins to uh, play the audio file that it's downloaded. This part is the part that actually converts um, the FLV into an MP3. So, as you can see, surprisingly, there's not that much code in order to do that. And the reason being is just because it's basically a shell command that shells out to the FFMPEG program, uh, gives it some parameters and stuff like that. Um, so that part wasn't actually that hard. I mean, it was just a matter of finding FFMPEG. And then... Um, Download, which just downloads, uses uh, YouTube DL right here, and basically shells out to it. Uh, it asks you like if you want to wait, and if you don't, then it just continues throughout the program. Um, sub want to play it? This just says the video is converted. Do you want to play it? And if you uh, if you say yes, then it goes down here and it plays MP3. And then here, on um, this part, is to do a full download, which consists of, like, executing download, then checking if the FLV file is there, then converting it, and then asking you if you want to play it. Um, what, this, all this stuff is basically more setup stuff, stuff that's not very important. Um, okay, right here, this is some more important stuff. This part right here is the code that is executed, this right here, um, when you press the play button. And so what happens is it, it gets the, the list view selected item, and it gets the number of that and stores it into there. If it's negative 1, it checks right there. Um, and then, it, so if, it's, if it is negative 1, it goes down here, and it just says you need to select a video. Um, and then right here, um, it'll tell you, uh, it'll check the URL to make sure it's valid, and then it'll tell you if it's valid or not. And if it is valid, it goes down here and downloads it. 
and right here is a loop. Now this is the loop um, that makes it so that you cannot do parallel downloads. Um, in the next version I plan on making this a little bit better um, by not doing this loop right here but what it does is this loop continues going until um, the file uh, is found so like until basically like the FLV is done downloading so this is a loop that pretty much like locks up the program until it's done so that's why you can't do parallel downloads um, so then right here sleep 6000 this just gives it a little time to buffer the video before it begins to play it using this command and so down here um, this is the convert button code um, again it looks a lot similar to the play button except it asks you a few different things and uh, executes the commands a little differently um, but yeah that's about it that's pretty much the code for it um, so as you can see this is the the most of the code located in the in the load data section this is where most of the code is um, but then a lot of it is actually just shelled to so most of most of the actual workings of this program are all inside of this engine folder right here um, you have FFMPG, FF Play, and YouTube DL. These DLLs are just um, pretty much codec files that are used by this and this in order to convert the video. And then this thing is um, a self-contained Python script. It contains Python embedded inside of here so that it can run on a system without Python. And in there it just um, downloads the YouTube video so that's about it Th these are just some of the code files uh, code gen it's just um, what that firefly thing that I was showing you is just produced by this program and as you can see when I go I don't know if I can move this window yeah actually I can when I go over here um, and I go to view form code you can see that now I am in design mode and you can see the the window and like how you can select things and stuff like that and so it's kind of like uh, kind of like VB6 except it does not it does not use a runtime it's completely standalone and uh, it's, it's, I think it costs if I can remember I think it costs about I think it's about a hundred bucks um, for this whole U UI so I mean it's pretty worth it cuz you get like it's more updated the vb6 because you have like windows themes you have more updated controls you can see this and i don't know why i'm advertising this cuz that's not the point of the video but anyway yeah this program is pretty awesome so yeah this is pretty much what i use to make all my uh apps now i mean i used to use vb6 but now i'm using this so anyway, that's just a little preview of how I made you pirate if you are interested. Um, so thanks for watching.